What is the meaning of Fallout? Fallout has many odds and settings and different themes through dialogue and through actions. But ever since the Fallout TV show, it would seem that the meaning is conflicted. The TV show says that the real problem was capitalism. A true monopoly. But this seems biased to me. It is no secret that people are very critical of capitalism and don't really like it. And most of these people are the ones who favorite socialism or democratic socialism. So let's talk about capitalism and socialism, the bad and the good for both. Socialism is an economic and social policy in which the public owns industry products rather than private individuals or corporations. Capitalism. Capitalism is often thought of as an economic system in which private actors own and control property in accord with their interests and demand and supply freely set prices in markets in a way that can serve the best interests of society. The essential future of capitalism is the motive to make a profit. So we already have the definitions of capitalism and socialism, so let's look at the good and the bad of them. We already have socialist programs. You probably benefit from them. These socialist programs include social security, medical care, child labor laws. Let's look at the bad of socialism. One of the bad things with socialism is just government failure. In one of those cases, it is high minimum wages or minimum working week could lead to unemployment and a lack of flexibility, which firms need to deal with a sudden increase in demand. If firms are highly regulated, it is an extra cost which may discourage investment and lead to lower economic growth. And one of the bad things about socialism that people fear is kind of like authoritarian government type stuff, you know. Supporters of capitalism urge that it promotes economic growth, innovation, efficiency, and individual freedom. However, critics of capitalism often point to issues such as economic equality, exploitation of workers, environmental degradation, and the prioritization of profit over human well-being. Okay, it seems like capitalism and socialism have good things and bad things within them. What does this mean? When it comes to capitalism, people are afraid of corporate control. And when it comes to socialism, people are afraid of authoritarian rule from the government. Through the sources that we've read off, it would seem that capitalism and socialism have mixed together via socialism policies. And it would also seem that socialism wants to get rid of capitalism entirely. Capitalism also wants to get rid of certain socialist policies or to reduce them. Capitalists and socialists do not get along very well. But what does this have to do with Fallout? In the Fallout TV show, vault has investments with advanced nuclear bunkers in order to secure the investments, but anybody with a brain cell would understand that this is not capitalism because capitalism relies on what exactly? Yes, you guessed it, people. Socialism also relies on people as well. It's another case of capitalism and socialism fighting with one another at the extent of a beloved franchise. But Fallout is clearly sending a meaningful message to everybody and it's not about capitalism and it's not about capitalism or socialism in order to understand the meaning of fallout we first have to understand why war occurs because that is the main theme in fallout wars have been fought since the beginning of time for a multitude of different reasons whenever leaders of nations cannot come to a peaceful negotiation to solve a dispute unfortunately these different avenues often result in violent hostilities called war, where leaders put their mercenaries and militaries against each other in clashes that can cost thousands or even millions of lives. Another reason for war, imperialism. One reason for war is when one nation seeks to take advantage of another nation's natural resources. For example, imperialism is when a developed nation conquers or colonizes a less developed nation for trade or extraction. For example, in 1998, the United States went to war with Spain and took over Puerto Rico, Guam, Cuba, and the Philippines from Spain. Imperialism can also lead to revenge, and sometimes the exploited or wrong nation seeks through warfare. Territory. Ownerships of land is a common case of war. For example, 
Think of all the wars in North America between Native American tribes and Europeans and even the European nations themselves. In the seven w years of war, for example, England and France both coved the Ohio River Valley. While England and Spain had long been in a connection over Florida with Native American tribes, sending with either the French, Spanish, or British colonists, the melee was a truly global conflict. England emerged victorious, gaining Florida and control of the Ohio River Valley all the way through Canada. Resources. Access to resources can also lead to war. For example, post-World War I, Japan modernized their nation's military, which depended on gaining new sources of oil for their island, which depended on gaining new sources of oil for their island nation. Japan also desired more room to expand their borders to accommodate their exploding population. That's a very poor choice of words. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> in the 1930s and 40s, Japan grabbed, you know, the Philippines and World War II started. And this aggression promoted the United States to issue sanctions, including re restricting the Japanese access to American oil. As a response, Japan attacked American-held Pearl Harbor in Hawaii in December of 1941. And the United States joined the war on the side of the Allies against Japan. Nationalism or the extreme pride in one's own nation and culture can be an instigator of war as well. Nationalism predicted the start of World War I. Europe and the Middle East looked much different in 1914. Religion, I don't think I have to explain that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this tell us about the meaning of fallout? What is fallout trying to tell us? In order to have governments, what do you need? People. In order to have a stable economy. People. In order to make policies that help other people, you need people. In order to have war, what do you need? People. And what is the definition of war? The definition of war. A state of armed conflict between different nations or states, or different groups within a nation or state. What's inside of a state? What are inside of nations? People. There's this really good source that I was looking through when I was doing research on this, and there's a sentence that really haunted me. No generation has truly been free of the threat of war. The message was right there in front of our faces the entire time, said to us over and over from each game. And that message is, no matter what government installation you put in, war. humans, humans war never, never changes. changes. So when it comes to the Fallout TV show, I have a couple predictions. You know, when you see the scene for the Volt Tech meeting, and a lot of it doesn't really make any sense. Um, so I have a couple of theories here. And one of the theories, because we, we both know that socialism relies on people, and we both know that capitalism relies on people, because you can't make any money if your investments don't, you know, it just, it doesn't make any sense when you think about it. And I'm trying to make sense out of it, so I have theories, and here's my theories. Um, theory number one, uh, managed anarchy. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about this one though. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense really. And here's another theory that I have. Um, they're a cult. <laughs> they're they're a cult. Like, uh, and, and and if you look at history with other cults, you know, cults are kind of bad, insane. So that would I think this one makes more sense. You know, I I don't know how you can manage anarchy because you know. I I don't know, maybe it's like you you just hey, you can't do that today cuz we do it the other today. You know, we do it tomorrow. We we do crazy stuff tomorrow and then we we chill out tomorrow like anarchy doesn't really have rules to it, you know, so it's just really confusing. Uh the cult That seems more plausible on what's going on here that they're just insane people <laughs> uh, you know it, it's it's really not a good representation of bad capitalism uh, you know if you want a, a good representation of bad capitalism all you have to do is play cyberpunk or outer worlds you know th those are really good examples of capitalism unchecked so let's let's take a look of our 
let's take a look at our uh, or my theory or people who didn't bother to do research on government installations that you know that that, that, that probably could be the one right there <laughs> just you know that, that that one could um very well be the one it seems more likely <laughs> most of socialists are actually capitalist if you don't believe me just have a famous person tell you for years i have privately thought to myself all right I'm, I am a capitalist. I, I like eating at sugarfish. I like, I like drinking Fiji water. I, I like going on Amazon.com on my phone and then sitting up two hours later and $6,000 later with a stack of Blu-rays, a box of Cadbury cream eggs, and a trombone waiting for me at my front door. But doesn't it seem that things have swung so far in one direction with the top 1% of the country controlling more wealth than the other 99% combined, that just a, a little bit of democratic socialism maybe is not the worst idea. <laughs> it, it almost seems like, you know, you know, capitalism, you know, these new type of socialist uh, wouldn't exist without capitalism. And, you know, we, we do integrate with socialism via the socialist policies that we have in America. Um, so it just seems like you know propaganda to me using this and it very it's very clear that these writers didn't really know how any of this really works including certain people in uh x slash twitter i well, was technically x but people are weird i guess now i just want to let everybody know that this is not like a hit piece or anything this is just a video just to determine like, what the hell is this show even doing, and why, like, why do people think the way that they do? You know, it, you know, it would seem that everyone in corporations are just hating on capitalism, and it's just kind of weird. You know, it's, it's very strange, right? And really, I, I think the real problem is, and this is just based on my opinion. Yeah, so uh, anyway, this is it. This is the end of the video. Um agree with this video or you did, don't disagree you know give me a like uh, dislike whatever you know subscribe i think you know based on my opinion that this this i think this is is what really what is fallout i think this is what what it's trying to tell us that humanity is incapable of changing its ways no matter what scientific or scientific advancement that we have or you know if, if cold fusion is invented you know we're still going to be killing each other taking advantage of each other is still going to happen no matter what right no government installation is going to save you right it's just like hey no generation has been truly free from the threat of war i think that's what fallout tells us i think that's the message that it's trying to tell us uh, and if you, you know, you can't just blame one thing for all the problems in your life or in the, the system that you live in. It's not that simple. I think people need to understand that, that it is multiple problems that cause the pain. I think that is the true message of Fallout.